Hey, I had a question about something. I've had a PS2 Slim since, you know, the... Well, not the day it came out. I had it for a while. Had it for a year, still works fine. I think these were also on the original PlayStation 2, the, the fat one. But I can never figure out, and I don't know why they're here, but what is the point of the two USB ports on the system. See those there? I don't know if you can see them that well, but I I'm just wondering. See them? They're there? Anybody? Anybody see them? Oh, well, they're like right here. And I just could never figure out why they were there. <laughs> now, obviously, I know why they were there on the uh, on the PS3 because you plug the controllers into them to, you know, charge a controller or whatever, or if you have, like, wired controllers, you can plug in there, and that's pretty much it. I mean, that's... What, why is, why is, why are these here? I mean, were they to put a keyboard and a mouse in there? Why would you want to put a keyboard and mouse in there? I mean, I never really tried to put my PS2 online because I figured that would end in failure. But even if you did that, you'd be playing your games. Why would you be plugging a keyboard and mouse since you're not going to be playing the game by keyboard and mouse? You're going to be playing it by controller. So if anybody out there knows the answer to this question, please let me know. I am just really curious about why there are two USB ports on the PS2. I never knew, despite the fact that I had this thing for... You know, almost 10 years, maybe? I think so. I think it's almost been 10 years. Just under 10 years. But I've had it for a while, so I'm just trying to wonder why those are there. Any answers would be appreciated.